Megacast TV, your channel of choice. Please like, share and subscribe. Good morning, good afternoon and a very good evening wherever you're joining me from out there on the World Wide Web. Welcome to another edition of Megacast. I'm with my co-host extraordinaire, but tonight he is a challenger. He's going to be kicking tonight off with a, an amazing challenge. Okay, so without further ado, let me introduce the one, the only, Mr. Jake, and tell us what you're going to be doing, Jake. Thank you very much, Trace. Well, um, the, we was, I was supposed to be doing this challenge with someone else. They've had a family emergency, so they've had to go. But uh, we are going to be doing the Century Egg Challenge. Now, I've ordered these Century Eggs offline, online, offline, off online, anyway. Um, and basically, these eggs are what they eat on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Now, I have made a uh, traditional, these eggs are traditionally served with a Chinese congee, which is uh, basically a rice porridge. Okay. So, so when would they have this? Would it be a breakfast thing or? They would eat it at breakfast. Um, they sometimes eat it if they're feeling poorly or not well. Okay. So. Okay. So then in that case, it shouldn't be too bad for you if they eat it when they're feeling a bit poorly. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, let's. Let, let's, let's do this, baby. Let's do this. Let me tell you what's in the congee, right? Um, we have 150 grams of long grain rice or jasmine rice. What you do is you rinse and drain that and you add half a teaspoon of salt, about a teaspoon of oil, and you leave that to stand. And okay, you, can this be any oil, Jake? Well, I used olive oil, Trace. Okay. Um, bring three and a half litres of water. I added chicken stock to the water, so I just added a, like a chicken stock pot thing Ooh. to the water and bring it to a boil. Then you add the rice and simmer for about 75 to 90 minutes. Wow. Until it resembles Quaker porridge. When it's done, you season it with spring onion and soy sauce. That sounds amazing. Really that nice. sounds absolutely wonderful, doesn't it? Really I bet nice. that's well comfort food. So have you cracked that egg yet, Jane? I haven't. It's still in the wrapper, and I've just realised I don't know if I have a pair of scissors. So we'll bear see. with. We'll it will be a bear with. We'll see how this goes. So how did did they put it whole in the in the congee, or did they slice it, or they slice it? They put it into pieces into the congee. So I suppose you could just break it with your fingers, couldn't you? Into it. Okay. It doesn't smell. Oh, that's fabulous, because that's one, the one thing I would have been worried about. And I would have been doing this challenge with him, folks, because, as you know, we normally do them together. But I have an egg allergy, so I can't do this one. They are delivered, ready to eat. What I will do is I will post, if anybody wants to try a century egg, is I will post the link to the website where I got these from, all right? Now, basically, the ingredients are just very basic. They're just like hydrogenated salt or something and black tea. And um, and it's a duck egg, isn't it? Not a chicken egg. It is a duck egg, yeah. So I'm, I'm just peeling it. I'm resisting... Does the, it smell? Well, I was just going to say I'm resisting the temptation to, to smell it. Do you think I should? Yes, because we want to know as viewers what it smells oh. like. It doesn't smell very nice. <laughs> okay. I thought it'd be a bit like, because you like your Stilton cheese, so I didn't think it would be any worse than that. I was just going to say, it's a bit like a strong cheese. Okay. So, I suppose once you get over the... So, hence, while you're having the bland rice, to take some of the flavour off. Well, what I've done with the rice is, obviously it's got chicken stock in it, and I've... Uh, this is a, a recipe that's been given to me by a Chinese person. So it's a traditional, authentic Chinese recipe. Um, and they said to add, at the end, just stir in some um, spring onions and soy sauce, which is what I've done. Okay. So 
we will see how this goes. Now, that is the egg. Oh, isn't it beautiful? I love the colour. Okay. So what's it look like when you break it open? Show us the inside before you put it in with the yolk. Let's have a look. I did pick up a knife somewhere. Oh, your desk sounds as good as mine. I can never find though. There we go. It doesn't smell until you put it to your nose. Okay. So that's what it looks like on the end. Oh, wow. So the yolk isn't yellow at all. That is black too. And that will be because the black tea soaked for it, I'm guessing. I'm guessing so, yeah. Now, I'm just going to chop this up. I'm going to be a chicken and only chop up half of it just to see how it is. Yeah, I would as well. No, I would overpower myself. And you've got to remember our bodies aren't used to it. Whereas if they're eating it all the time, they'll be used to it. Let me show you the congee. This is the congee. Oh, it's wow. like a rice porridge. So now I'm just going to add a bit of that over it. These chunks of egg. And then are you going to mix it? I'm going to mix it in, yeah. Now what you're supposed to do is sort of melt in the egg. My porridge has been standing getting old, haven't I? Has been standing for about I don't know ten minutes. Ten minutes on it, yeah, because I was diddly dallying. So, and me, my fault. I'm surprised Blue isn't trying to eat some. I have put him in his cage. Yeah, because we okay. don't want to. It could make them poorly, couldn't it? I've got a piece of the century egg. Some spring onion. Okay, let's go. I don't think it's going to be that bad because they eat it, you know, when they're poorly. I can't see it being too bad. And you do like strong taste, like your Stilton and that. You know what? It's not bad. It doesn't taste bad. No. Do you think it would taste bad if you had it on its own, though? Well, shall we try that? I've got yeah, heart. just try a little bit on, on its own. Let me just have another while it's melting into the congee. Yes, definitely. I just want to... I mean, it's definitely a strong egg flavour. But we like, you know, if you don't mind eggs, then that's fine anyway. But it tastes like a scotch egg. Okay. Oh, that's fabulous. I'm pleased it's not making you feel ill. What's the matter? Well, there was less rice on that and more egg. Okay. It, it tasted pungent, but it wasn't. If you watched our jelly bean challenge, it wasn't unpleasant to the mouth. Okay. Just so, a strong taste, like if you was having a bit of Stilton cheese. Yeah. But not a nasty bad taste. And Let's try a little bit, just on its own. Okay. It's much nicer with the congee, I'm just saying. Yeah, and I presume that's why they do it that way. So it to sit it. there and eat the old egg, the whole egg like they have to do on I'm a Celebrity, it's very it's jellyfied, fried. isn't it? Yeah, it is jellyfied. So to sit there and eat the old egg like they have to do in I'm a Celeb, that's maybe where the problem begins. I wouldn't say it's unpleasant. No, not like some of the things we've had. No, not compared to like the Bush took a trial or the jelly beans. Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased we've done it, though, and <laughs> we've got to see it. Because it's been fascinating me since I watched it on um, one of the Bush Cooker trials. But I thought, you know, once we started doing the research and you were buying it, I thought the egg was a rotten egg because it was black. It's when not. you started telling us, yeah, that it's got black tea in, that's what makes it black. Then I thought, oh, you know what, that's not going to be too bad then. It is an egg, though. So you're definitely right. You wouldn't have been able to eat it. You see, I no, thought, so if you've got an egg allergy, folks, it's definitely out. Yeah, but you, you, your advice would be definitely the congee with it. My advice would be definitely eat it with the congee, yes. 
because it's less pungent. Okay, so that that means you might be able to eat the other eggs rather than waste them because you might be able to just make some more congee up and eat them. Is it? Yeah. Is there a, a date on how long they last, their eggs, once you've bought them? When the are opened, they come in, in they're individually sealed in, in wrappers. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So once the, egg, the eggs are opened, they last about a week. Right. Or they're all in their own wrappers, so... Okay, so they're going to last forever than if they're not open. The have got a shelf life. I think it was uh, June 2022 on it or something, so about a year. Oh, the... wow. Oh, that's great, then. So what did they actually come in? Was it like an egg carton or...? I'll show you. It was wrapped in Chinese newspaper and bubble wrap. Oh, wow. And it came in a, in a little egg carton. And inside the egg carton, they're individually wrapped, as you can oh, see. Oh, wow. Yes. So, oh, I'm so um, pleased we did this challenge, and I'm so pleased it hasn't made you poorly for once. No, I enjoyed that. I definitely have that for breakfast. It's definitely going to be something I've... The thing is, with the congee, and I've, I've researched this tonight because I'm a bit concerned, it obviously takes about, well, I half the recipe. So it took about an hour for my recipe because okay. I had 75 grams of rice. Okay. Um, but it is reheatable. So when you reheat it, you could even portion it up with the 150 grams. And then, and then just put, uh, reheat them the next day or whatever. Portions, yeah, and when you reheat them, you just add a tiny drop of water just to re just to moisture make them. Yeah. yeah, can you freeze that then? Do you know? Yeah. Could you also oh, great so you can make a, a big batch up and portion it and then just freeze yeah. it? Yeah, I'm glad I didn't make a 150 grams because I just thought, you know, a lot of rice, isn't it? Yeah, well, I've got we when, when we cook rice here in this house. And this serves one person. Okay. So it's like a little Chinese bowl. Yeah, that you put enough rice. rice. So how much rice was that? That I was think. 75 grams and it filled the pot. Okay, okay. But maybe they do it because it takes so long to do. They do bigger batches so they can store so they can, some. Yeah. yeah. Especially okay. if it's for breakfast. The congee will keep in the fridge for about a week. Holy moly. So, so yeah, so you could do a week's worth of breakfast stuff and then it's just a case of re-eating it. Can you, is yeah. that in the microwave? Could you do it in the microwave? Well, in the microwave or in a saucepan, whatever you prefer. Oh, fabulous. So we've learned something new then, a new recipe. I am going to give it a shot. Um, I'm, I'm just not in the right oh, place I'm, at the moment, but I do want to have a shot. It's on its own. Um, the friend that I got the recipe from says they add sometimes turkey mints or chicken thighs or um, ground pork to it. Oh. Any kind of protein, you could even add fish or you know any protein you like. Really. Wow, some smoked haddock, flaked smoked haddock in it would be lots, yeah. wouldn't it, with the spring onions and that. Yeah. You could even put a bit of leek in, couldn't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, that sounds great. So thank you, Jay. And thank you for doing that tonight. And guys, haven't we learned something? You know, it's not just been about the challenge, it's been educational. So I've really enjoyed it, Jay. So thank think, you for doing I that. When they're doing it on I'm a Celeb, you can't help but think they're maybe just hyping it up a bit, do you know what I mean? Mm. Especially now I've tried one. Mm. Yeah, but then, then the mind's a powerful enemy, isn't it? Because if they're being told something and it looks black, and before we did the research, if we'd never seen one before, we'd have put it to our nose, seen it was black, and thought, oh, my God, this is bad. So it could be psychosomatic that what's kicking in. It doesn't smell nice. No, exactly so. I was a bit burnt when I smelt it, but it doesn't taste or it doesn't taste too bad. But if you're imagining, you know nothing about that, you're putting it to your nose, it smells like that, and you've got to eat the old egg, you're going to be thinking, it's going to be your head, isn't it? They play with your head in, in, um, in um, I'm a celeb, get me out of here. A lot of it is mind games. So if you've got good control over your mind, you're going to sail it. But if you're one of these that's going to, read into the or buy into the fear then you're going to have a hell of a time 
I'm not saying it's not got a strong taste, but it's not overly strong. It's not like makes your bulk strong. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, but like I said, thanks for tonight, Dave. Really enjoyed that. And thank you guys for joining us on this uh, challenge. And I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it too. So I'm going to say have a very good night from me, whatever you're up to. Be bold, be beautiful, and always be great. And I'm going now. Bye. <laughs>